There has been a lot of debate about how effective in-lens image stabilization really is. This video will attempt to show what the effects of in-lens image stabilization are. In-lens image stabilization means that the slight jitter your body produces when hand-holding the camera is corrected for by a mechanism in the lens. There is usually a switch to turn the image stabilization on or off on the lens. Panasonic uses in-lens stabilization for its micro four-thirds lenses, as opposed to the in-body image stabilization that Olympus uses for its micro four-thirds cameras. Both systems are effective for still images. However, in-body image stabilization cannot be used for videos. The single biggest misconception about image stabilization is that it can correct for the fact that most novice users zoom too close when filming videos and they wave the camera around abruptly while trying to follow the subject. Image stabilization is only meant to compensate for extremely small corrections that your arms and body are constantly making while holding the camera. These corrections look like a very slight jitter as opposed to panning or wandering. At a focal length less than 100 millimeters, image stabilization is not always required because the effect of the jitter is lessened at wider angles. For focal lengths of 100 millimeters or more, image stabilization is essential for handheld videos and extremely helpful for images as well. Another common misconception is that image stabilization will prevent blurry images in low light situations. If the subject moves and your shutter speed is not fast enough, then holding the camera still will not help you. In low light situations where your shutter speed is less than 1 30th of a second, a larger aperture is a much more effective way of preventing blurry photos than image stabilization is.